Good morning, welcome back to another day in the Guillemot Kayaks Boat Shop. I'm Nick Shada. Today we will be doing more stripping. Go figure. I'm getting really close to finishing up the stripping here. Today I'll be primarily working on the front deck. The back deck I'll leave for another day, but I should be able to get mostly up one side of the front deck. You've seen most of this before, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking. There's not too much to say, but I'll show where I am with the cockpit, and obviously I don't need to strip over the cockpit. I'm going to cut a big hole there in the long run, so no point in laying down a bunch of wood there and trying to make it all fit and then come back and saw it all out again. put several reference lines on these forms to help me figure out where things are happening and uh, as guides for stripping. Under here there's some diagonal lines um, at this angle that defines the chine or the feature line between the side of the boat and the back deck of the boat. Up here I've got some slots where the uh, recess of the combing is going to be. Over here, these slots also define where the recess of the combing is going to be, and there's a hole in here. That's where the edge of the recess is going to be. Um, I've cut that hole in there so when I saw through here, I'll just saw right through those forms, and that hole will give clearance for the saber saw or jigsaw to cut through there. The cockpit is in this area. So I've already stripped beyond the cockpit here on both sides, and so now the strips can start to get shorter, substantially shorter. Here I'll, I'll probably bring it a little bit long out into this area. And so as I'm peeling off the tape, just as a, to help remind me where I can go, I'll leave this tape on here. In other words, the strip will end right before this tape. And so pull all the tape off. So that'll be my guide for how far to run the next strip.
Now this is where I switch to just doing one side at a time. If I were to run a strip up here on this side, it would end up hitting this strip. And so this is interfering with getting a tight fit on that side. And so basically this strip has crossed the center line a little bit. So from here on out, I'm just gonna add strips on one side, have them overhang the center line sufficiently that I can cut them off and trim that center line to a nice straight line without having any gaps. You may have noticed that I wasn't stopping to do the hot melt glue stitches along here. You may even see some places here where the yellow glue between the strips does not appear to be completely dry. It's not completely dry where it's squeezed out, but in between the strips where it got pressed and squeezed tightly together, it's tacked up sufficiently that I can take the tape off. As soon as I'm done with one side, I can switch to the other side and take the tape off and keep on going. However, now I'm only gonna be working on one side, so I won't have enough time for that glue to set up between finishing up one strip and adding the next strip. So I'll end up at this point starting to add those hot melt glue stitches as I go. That way I can take the tape off and add a new strip before that yellow carpenter's glue between the strips has fully set up. This is a really tight radius up here, which means that it's going to take a lot of beveling to get a tight seam between this strip and the next strip. You see this strip's at an angle like this, and I'm holding the robo bevel at an angle like this. That means the angle between this strip and the next strip is pretty extreme. All right, we're making progress now. I'm gonna break for lunch and uh, continue on with this afterwards. We're see how far we get. I think I ought to be able to cover all the way to the center line today, and uh, that'd be excellent.
okay, I've used up all the strips I set aside for the side of the boat. But I still have, here's the center line right here. And here's the center line right there. Center line crosses these strips right up in there. So I've got a little bit left to go. I forget exactly where the cockpit comes through here. I think it comes right through like this and basically just kisses this form. You know, so if I stuck one more strip there, then I would cover that center line there. Um, but just to make sure, I'm, I think I'll put a couple strips there. I know there's not going to be much showing there. There's this strip here running out to maybe about there, and then mirror image on the other side. So I want to pick some wood that's going to be similar to what we've got here. And so what I've got is, these are the offcuts from the forward end of the strips running in. So this is strip 26, 26, 25, 24. So here I have strip 24, 25, and 26. And again, that's the forward end of these three strips. So those, I know those are going to be similar in tone to what's already here just because they're part of the same strip. But I do have a little bit of a dark streak running right through here, running up to here. And these are quite light in color. They don't have a whole lot going on. So I cut these strips all off right here. And I have this bundle of strips back here that are just the off cuts from that. By the way, a lot of waste when you're doing this book matching because all of this gets cut off and left. Um, but let's see what we have here for color-wise. So if I find strip 26, this is strip 26. It's, it's got some of those same streaks that we see in here. Here's strip 25. Here I'm just looking for some strips that are going to match color-wise just across that center line. And I think what I'll end up doing, if I run from here back to here with this strip, that's 20, strip 26. Likewise, strip 25. We'll have a set of strips that the tiny little triangle we see in here will look like it's matching pretty well with the surrounding strips. I think that's what I'm going to do is just put in those two strips. So this is strip 26, 25. We'll cut these two strips right here. And so those are the next strips that are going to come in here. And that should be plenty to cross that center line. I assume it's going to need a little bit of robo bevel. Not too much. That's a good tight fit there. And the crossing the center line there. Let's just get that stuck down. Now chances are excellent that none of this strip here will end up in the finished boat. The cockpit will come up and trim off most of that. And it's likely that there's just a, gonna be a little bit of this strip showing. But now with that grain going on, it should be fine. So, you know, I, in the best of all possible worlds, I would have included a couple more strips to, in this bundle to get all the way there. But frankly, you know, I'm using two feet of this strip here, and you know, there's gonna be one, probably less than an inch of this strip showing here. And so it's kind of a waste of a full length strip to just fill in that tiny little bit. But, you know, if we're really trying to 
maintain the book match to the bitter end. That's what we could do. But nobody's going to see this. It's going to be a tiny little sliver there. And if I've got matching from the other side, so I mirror this little piece in there, it's going to be awesome. So that went pretty quick. This morning we started about down here and you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen strips on this side today um that's pretty good progress but i think it's cool you're starting to see the pattern come out here um i've got this sort of dark streaks coming down like this and converging here and when we get the other side matching that i think it's really going to look awesome this is where all the hard work of trying to figure out the matching pattern and so forth starts to pay off. And tomorrow when we get the fitted on the other side, I think it's really going to look slick. I had a few issues that uh, almost threw me off, but uh, was able to catch them in time and it's looking awesome. So if you're enjoying watching this series, please hit subscribe. You know, if you've watched all the way through this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you want to give me any, any more support, go to Patreon and the token amount there is really appreciated. So next episode, we will trim down the center line and start stripping up the other side. And um, there's going to be an accent strip going in all on that center line. And I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to do that. But tricky thing about that is I want the center of the center line um, centered on the center line and if I have a accent strip of a certain width I need to make sure that I offset the center line sufficiently by that width of that accent line so it ends up the center line is centered on the center line if you're looking forward to that hit subscribe and uh, until next episode thanks for watching and happy paddling